Can Anderson Silva hand Jake Paul his first boxing loss? See who fighters are picking in the latest edition of MMA Pro's Pick. Huh, yeah, I, mate, I don't know. I don't know. Like, it's I'm I'm very very happy for, for Anderson Silva to to have gotten the fight. Obviously, it's going to be a really good payday, and honestly, I think Anderson Silva can win. <laughs> so uh, you know, hats off to them. <laughs> That's a hilarious talk. I go with Anderson Silva. Come on, baby. Anderson should shit. He looked good. I mean, going against legit pro boxers, he looked great. He his timing is good. Distance is good. He he transitioned over to boxing really well but he was always heavy on the lead leg which helped like in, in MMA you got to kind of not be so heavy on the lead leg so you can pick it up throw kicks hit kicks wrestle uh, but he transitioned really well for that so I think uh, he wins by probably decision um, but I don't think it would be a close fight uh I'm definitely pulling for Anderson. I, I feel like he, as far as older guys, especially transitioning from MMA, he's got more left in the tank than any of these other guys. Um, and he's always been like a great striker. Um, and he looked great. Uh, I think he beat Cesar Chavez Jr., if I remember right. Who, you know, is again, like a legit boxer. Obviously not on the level of his dad, but uh, still, Anderson's out here actually fighting legit guys. Um, so I, I'm going to take him on that one. Skill-wise, I have to lean towards Anderson Silva and just the experiment, uh, the experience of being in big fights all of his life, whereas Jake's still, you know, new, but he's not new to the spotlight. And so I, I want to lean a little bit more towards Silva just because, you know, it's Anderson Silva. Anderson Silva, absolutely. You know, I, I, I got asked this a little bit ago, and I was like, if it's not fixed, if it's not rigged, it's Anderson Silva all day. You know, this is definitely like one of those things where Jake Paul is also stepping up in competition by a long shot. And I've, I've, I'm a, I, I'm a big follower of Anderson Silva, so I watch a lot of his current training videos, and he posts a lot of stuff about, you know, day to day trainings. And he's man, he's sharp still. You know, he's obviously a little bit past his prime, but he's still sharp and he's still getting it. So I got Anderson Silva on that one. Oh, I understand, man. And props, props to Jake for taking it. I think that was a really, uh, I think it's good for him to take a fight like this. Cause it's about time that he fights someone who's uh like it's boxing so of course your first few fights are going to be against guys who like people are always gonna be like ah oh, yeah but yeah but yeah but but anderson is uh he's definitely no joke and uh he's certainly found a kind of like a, a new awakening in his boxing career and uh, i think i think he'll do I, I think anderson's gonna win that one <clears throat> i see anderson win <laughs> anderson probably okay. sleeping him in the fifth Man, a teammate of mine asked me that, and I kind of sarcastically said, oh, Jake Paul. I said, what, really? But uh, I hope not. You know, I think Anderson should outskill him as long as he doesn't get into the, you know, hands down too too much of a cocky mode and, and get caught because, you know, Jake Paul's got that sporadic, you know, kind of spazzy power. So if he catches you with one single shot, he could definitely sit you down and, uh, Anderson stays technical, he should pull it off. It's hard for me to go against Anderson Silva, man. He's looked really good against some legit boxers, uh, and he's just the same size as uh, Jake Paul, so I'm going to take Anderson. Anderson Silva. Obviously, Anderson, you can't deny Silva and his accomplishments. Even in boxing, he's doing really, really well. I just think that there's there comes a point when Paul doesn't... Uh, He's not just like this kind of like Disney kid slash boxer anymore that comes into the picture and just starts just like beating up kind of like other people that don't know what they're doing. He's actually becoming an actual boxer and he's actually training. He's actually putting in sparring rounds. Obviously, I think that like he can't compete at the, the, the highest level, but beating someone like Anderson Silva wouldn't shock me. Uh, Anderson Silva was what, like 40, 46, something like that. He's 46. I mean, you can't deny how good of a striker he is, but you know, most of, a lot of his wins came with a kick or a knee to the face in, in our in our mixed martial arts sports. And it, you know, it obviously leads with his hands, but finishes with his with his feet or his legs or whatever. But I think that I just think that boxing wise, he's Anderson Silva's, you know, as good as a, any MMA fighter is boxing, but 
Big Paul, he's younger, he has more strength. Uh, I mean, to me, I just think he's going to take it. Wow, that boxing fight is going to be interesting. I feel like um, Anderson Silva is amazing. His boxing, his speed and everything. But I've actually, Jake Paul has good power, you know. He's, he's look like he's playing and joking around, but he has good skills and he's young. I believe that if Anderson Silva getting that fight like five years ago, maybe could be different, but but who knows, you know. Anderson Silva. Ah. I hope Anderson Silva is gonna is gonna explode that guy. Uh, I'm very confident, man. Anderson Silva, I have a, I have a good boxing, man. He seems like he's in a good shape, so uh, maybe Anderson uh, Anderson Silva for sure.